Hi, hello, and welcome back to Black and a Berry. I'm Nikki, and welcome to my channel where we talk all things beauty, all things black culture. Um, before I jump into the topic of discussion for today, I would like to say please subscribe, share, like, and tell somebody that knows somebody about Black and a Berry. You already know about all of that. So today, I really want to do something just a beauty conversation, uh, get ready with me type of video. And I would like to discuss beauty maintenance etiquette, as you can tell from the title. Um, when it comes to beauty maintenance, such as waxing, when it comes to getting your nails done, eyebrows done, facials, even um, hygiene for your teeth. Um, I believe that I believe that there is a certain etiquette that goes along with that. Um, so I just wanted to come say hello to you guys, see what y'all were up to, and talk about some beauty maintenance etiquette. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's go. So as you can see, eyebrows are pretty much started, almost done. Um, I just gotta kind of brush and set them. Here's the thing. I have a hard time going to get certain things on my body done and people not understanding that there is an etiquette that goes along with that well in my humble opinion there is an etiquette that goes along with that co-workers and I were having a discussion about beauty maintenance etiquette and I thought why not bring that to my beauties today and let's see if you guys agree with how I uh, kind of view things when it comes to beauty maintenance how do you guys handle when you go get like a wax and I'm not talking about a wax like on your lip or but like if you're gonna go get a wax done and when I say get your wax done I mean on the, the private sector or region of the body um, and when you go get that wax done they want to have the technician wants to have like a full-blown conversation with you as she is waxing your private sector or your JJ and me no likey I don't understand why we have to have a whole conversation while you're in between my legs um, I just feel like that's not proper etiquette for the JJ area there is no topic of discussion that's gonna make me feel comfortable with you being in between my legs that is a very uncomfortable feeling as it is I just want to go get my vagina waxed and then just leave just talk let's talk about scheduling yes I will see you in four weeks but no it didn't hurt as bad this time whatever that's the only level of discussion that I want to have when it comes to my vagina so beauties you guys tell me what is it that your technician is there anything is there a topic of discussion that you feel like oh okay we can talk about this while you're in between my legs and then also as the technician is talking to me about whatever she's talking to me about all I'm thinking is I just want to be sure that I cleaned well I hope I'm not smelling um, I hope there are no tissue tissue chunks I hope there are no tissue chunks down there I'm sorry I'm gonna keep it real you all know that that when you wipe down there sometimes you leave a little you know little tissue chunks down there. <laughs> I'm sorry so those are the things that unfortunately are going through my head and I am extremely paranoid about it I don't care about how many vaginas you wax today I don't care to discuss the weather outside even sorry I don't really want to talk that much I just want to go in get this 10 minute little quickie over with and peace out I believe there's a certain etiquette that goes along with getting certain maintenance done on your body another example when you go to the dentist right I hope you guys go to the dentist at least twice a year get these teeth clean when I go to the dentist I do not want to talk about well it's not even that I don't want to talk about anything but it's very difficult to 
talk about something when you're all in a girl. Like, I can't talk about something that I'm all hooking like this. That is extremely difficult to do. How can, how can you expect me to have a whole conversation with you about anything when you're in my mouth? There is, again, there's no topic that's going to make me feel comfortable to discuss anything with you while you've got a drill in my mouth you got a mirror in my mouth to get the little sharp pokey thing in my mouth that's like cleaning and you know in between your gums and stuff what can we talk about i can't talk <laughs> there's nothing for me to say um and it's not that i'm being anti-social you know sometimes they'll say oh are you okay or you know are you comfortable are you having pain no ma'am i'm not having pain I just can't talk <laughs> it's difficult for me to talk it's lord forbid if anyone finds out that i'm in the medical field then they really want to have a conversation and when i'm off work i'm off work i don't like to talk about medical stuff or work or where i work when i'm off work and i am i'm partaking in relaxing activities such as you know um, getting my nails done or getting my wax or a uh, pedicure or my eyebrow well I don't want to say eyebrows because I haven't got my eyebrows done in a very long time I don't get my eyelashes done or anything like that but still all I'm saying is when I'm off work I'm off work I don't really want to have a discussion about anything medical I don't want to talk about where I work or how long I've been working as in the medical field I don't want to I don't really want to discuss any of those things especially when I get my manicure and my pedicures that's just not something that I want to do I I don't want to talk this is when outside was open and you were able to actually really relax when you go to the nail salon so I like to go to my nail salon I like to bring a snack I like to bring my tablet so that I can have some light reading. Definitely bring my earphones or my AirPods or whatever. And then I like to just sit and chill, read while having a nice snack, a healthy snack, by the way. And to me, that is the one time that I'm able to just really enjoy like my me time now since we are going through COVID it is you know definitely different going to the salon I cannot lie you cannot bring a snack and then it's really hard because you've got the mask on your face so I really don't want to talk I it's difficult enough for me to have this that dang gummit mask on you know if it's not anything other than hey is the water too hot is the water too cold how does this massage feel is that too rough is that too hard anything other than that I don't want to discuss it now, I know some people might seem to think like oh that's you know that's kind of jacked up I don't think that that's jacked up I feel like that's that's pretty cool like because this is my time. If I'm paying you hundreds of dollars to do your job, I'm going to need you to do your job. Shh. Just do your job. Like, let me chill. Let me be. Let me relax. Let me catch up on, you know, the news. Let me catch up on Jackie Ina videos. Like, I don't want to have a conversation with you. What do y'all think? Like, when you guys go get things done, is that how... Is that how you guys are? Like, do you believe there's a certain etiquette that goes along with beauty maintenance? Like, if you go get your eyebrows done, do you want to talk while you're getting your eyebrows done? First of all, if I'm getting any type of wax, eyebrows, armpits, legs, uh, vagina, bikini line, whatever, that crap hurts. Like, that shit is no joke. And I don't care how many times you've had it done, you get a little sweaty. <laughs> you get a little anxious when it's time to go back and get it done and I understand like wanting to talk to me is you think it's gonna make me a little bit more comfortable but guess what it's not I, don't ask me nothing about what I do don't ask me how old I am don't ask me where I live don't ask me how many kids I got don't ask me if I'm married if I'm not married I don't want to talk now the one time when I do feel like it is okay to have a conversation is when I am getting my manicure. 
I don't mind having a discussion as much and I say that because it when you're getting your manicure it's a little difficult to just sit and relax when you're getting a manicure because you know you still have to describe to them like exactly what it is you want done to your nails the shape of your nails the length of your nails like sometimes they're asking you uh, questions throughout the process of the manicure this is an okay time to have a conversation you no know, because I my focus isn't on my book my focus isn't necessarily on it's not on whatever videos it is that I'm watching the manicure process is an okay time to want to have that conversation but if you see that I'm fairly tight lipped keep the conversation to a minimum or kind of fill it out like some of us just don't want to engage as technicians just kind of gauge it while I'm speaking about uh, manicures this kind of made me think about um, a, a specific situation that I had happened to me while in the nail salon um, and I really felt like you know hey why why are you talking to me right now so um, last year uh, my grandfather passed away I was in the nail salon when I got the news I was literally in the middle of a manicure of course I was in tears if there was ever a time where I did not want to engage and did not want to communicate honey that was the time you know, when I say I was bawling there was snot everywhere it was a very devastating time and it was excruciating for me to even be at the nail salon but here's the thing I know some people would say oh well why didn't you just get up and leave by this time the guy was already dipping my nails into the powder I didn't feel like that you know me leaving would have been conducive because then I would have had half done nails so I felt like okay let me go ahead and just finish and tough it out and get through this moment now I said all of that to say that's not the time to talk and unfortunately the my nail tech and other nail techs that were in the surrounding area or in the vicinity of uh, where I was sitting uh, they felt the need to ask me so many questions about what the news that I just received um, was this my dad was this my grandfather yada 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 that just wasn't the time um, and I, I try to explain to them I don't really want to talk right now um, you know please stop asking me questions and then what made it worse is the guy that uh, the guy that was doing my nails he basically said oh um, this is on me basically so he was just like you know you don't have to worry about paying for your nails today I'll take care of it it's on me so while all of that was fine and dandy um, and while I appreciated that so much at the same time I don't want to talk <laughs> like there's a time and a place for all of that and I feel like um, when beauty maintenance some most of the time is just not the time um, even if you're like at a spa right I don't know why my dog is barking but and you're getting a massage um, I don't care what type of a massage it is I don't want to talk unless you're asking me hey is this too rough is this too hard even with a facial I don't want to talk and a lot of estheticians feel that that is a good time to converse but eh, wrong I don't want to talk If there are any estheticians out there that, you know, may be watching this or any massage therapists out there that may be watching this or um, any nail techs, if there are any wax people, <laughs> I don't know the names, esthetician maybe, if there are any of you that might be watching this, maybe you can help us, you know, to understand like, what is it that you want from us? <laughs> like I don't know what you want from me guys guess what I just did I just set my concealer and I haven't contoured yet so in this today's video I would like to contour so I'm glad I caught it before I set the rest of my face and I'm just gonna do a light contour I'm not gonna do anything special inquire minds want to know why do y'all talk so much 
why do you feel the need to have all this conversation in between my legs or while I'm you know got my feet in this hot comfortable I mean relaxing smell good water I have basically blended my contour out and um I don't know I think I'm looking a little sculpted but at the same time I was meaning to switch it up in this routine today and I wanted to start off with my eyes first which is another reason why I did my eyebrows but I got so caught up in our discussion about beauty maintenance etiquette that I completely forgot to do my eyes first I'm noticing that I think it kind of comes off as a little rude to like my technician or whoever's doing my nails or um, my massage or um, you know my wax but trust me when I say that is that is not what it is meant to be I just use that time away from my family away from work and patients and doctors and you know the world I use that time to completely get away it's like I don't even want, unfortunately, I don't want to think about anything at that time. Also in this video, I just want to pause and kind of say that I also wanted to try a, a couple of new products on this video. I wanted to do, um, I've got like this new bronzer and blush palette. Um, I wanted to try that. I got this bronzer and blush palette from Beauty Bakery. Shout out to Beauty Bakery, um, black owned brand that I am really growing to love. And so I got a few of their products. I just kind of wanted to try it out. Um, I want to spend as much money on black owned brands um, as possible. I feel like if I'm going to be spending it, um, I wanted to go in a, you know, a place that understands me and understands all my skin that kind of thing so I'm trying out a couple of new products here and then I got this um, brownie bar face palette which there um, if you can see it has a bronzer a blush and then a highlighter so yeah I just kind of want to try this out today I'm gonna use that to set my contour and then I also um, am trying out this Natasha Denona palette so um, it's just like a mini Natasha Denona palette and I actually got this in um, my BoxyCharm so yeah you can kind of see the colors there but um, I really want to try this eye palette out as well so I, as I go along I'll let you know um, how it's turning out but I'm gonna use my angle brush to bronze Um, hopefully you can see the bronzer I hope this is a good color for me um, uh, y'all I'm liking my base it looks pretty decent I, don't know. I just had to take a moment to say I'm liking this base I like it a lot I'm going to um, apply my eye primer and then I will be back so I zoomed in a little bit more just so that you can kind of see what I'm doing with my eyes um, as you can see the primer is applied on my eyes
So I am going to go ahead, finish my lip, and then pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, um, here is the complete finished look. What do you guys think? Uh, leave comments below and let's talk about this whole beauty maintenance etiquette thing. I just, I'm not a talker. I like to utilize that time to relax, chill, um, you know, get in touch with myself, get in touch with my spirit, kind of reevaluate, rejuvenate, um, do some soul searching, all that kind of stuff. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody else about Black and Berry. Be kind to one another. I know these are some crazy, crazy times right now. But I will say the elections are over. Thank God. Um, and now it's time to build from there and kind of get the ball rolling, rolling with uh, some significant change that is needed, not just in our country, but in our world. So be kind to one another thank you for joining me today and i hope you guys enjoyed the look i hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay safe out there bye